In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create, link and move armatures to influence mesh objects. I'll also demonstrate how to use the weight paint to restrict the armature's influence on attached mesh objects. In Blender, an armature is an object we use to, quote, rig a mesh, end quote. That term, rigging, means we're using an object like armature that contains movable bones, to attach to mesh objects, in order to control them freely. Armature is easier than moving and animating the meshes individually, because we can make the meshes to act like body parts that are attached to the bones. Think of the armature as a marionette, a tool marionettists use to control their puppets with strings. Basically, we can move, rotate and associate mesh objects that are being influenced by the armature, and we can even build inverse kinematic schemes that can recreate how lifting the right knee would lift the right foot automatically. Bones are the base elements of armatures. We can use the bones to directly control the meshes, or we can also use a single bone to control multiple bone elements. This is going to be the first tutorial in the series about character animation in Blender. In this tutorial, I'll cover how to create an armature to control meshes, and how to use the weight paint to add or remove effects, of influence, on selected meshes. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to create a simple humanoid that we can use to animate the character for future tutorials. After that, I'll show you how to use a dope sheet and action editor to animate our character. After that, we'll make the character to play specified animations, based on what keys we press in Armory 3D. I'll continue to create new character animation videos that will introduce how to use external motion capture data in Blender, and how to use the shape key editor to animate facial expressions. In the future, I'll show how to use your own face on webcam to animate facial expressions automatically, and how to animate characters for game engines. This is going to be an interesting series of tutorials. Let's begin. Do you remember my previous lecture about how we can animate in Blender? We can select a timeline frame at the bottom of the screen, and press I, to set a new keyframe. Then we can create a new keyframe, for example, on frame 50. If we change anything, such as rotation on frame 25 and set a new keyframe by pressing I, we'll be able to animate a smoothly rotating cube. We can select a keyframe and press Alt-I, to remove a keyframe. Basically, this is going to be the method we'll be using to animate our characters in the future. Press Shift-A, and select Armature. Suppose we were to animate a robotic arm. The robotic arm is made out of three metal cubes and the top and bottom parts shouldn't bend. In this case, we can use an armature to extrude a bone inside the robotic arm mesh and attack the meshes to the armature by pressing Ctrl P. To extrude the armature, press Tab to go to the edit mode and press E to extrude. To see the bone that is inside the mesh freely, please go to the Object Data tab and go to Viewport Display to activate the in front setting. After pressing Ctrl P, select with automatic weights. That means Blender will automatically generate the weight information for the mesh that are being attached to the armature. We can test how the bones work by going to the pose mode. 
The pose mode is only accessible when we select the armature. Let's select the top bone and rotate with R. The meshes rotates well as intended. When we animate, we need to watch out to make sure the meshes won't overlap one another, because they're supposed to be metal parts. The weight paint mode can only be activated after we select a mesh that is attached to an armature. Red means the armature is exercising a full influence on the mesh. If the weight paint color is green, that's the midpoint and the blue color means no influence. We can go to the Active Tool Setting tab and change the brush type. Mainly, we'll only be using two brushes. Add or Subtract. Add will turn your mesh red, and Subtract will turn your mesh blue. If you put the strength to 1, then the change will occur almost immediately. If you're animating an organic object, like a humanoid mesh, then there's one more rule to follow. In order for an armature attached mesh to bend, the mesh must have more geometry than a default cube. Let's create a new cube. Let's move its origin to the 3D cursor. Let's scale the cube. Let's create an armature and make it visible. Let's select the armature, press tab and extrude the top part with E. Select the cube and shift select the armature. Press Ctrl P and select with automatic weights. Let's go to the pose mode and rotate the upper bone. If we don't have enough geometry, the mesh will never bend. Let's add more loop cuts and try again. Much better. Let's modify the weight paint and see what would happen to the areas that are painted blue. Again, red means influenced by the armature and blue means not influenced. You'll notice when I move the first bone, the middle part won't even move. This is how we use the weight paint feature. I'll cover more weight paint topics in the future. This is the end of the armature and weight painting tutorial. Please like and subscribe if you have enjoyed watching this tutorial. Thank you for watching.